What's going on, everyone? my DT here. Welcome back to Wolfenstein 3D, Episode 2, Mission 6. I mean, uh, <laughs> this is Episode 2, Mission 6. Um, yeah, 4, 6. Um, last time, well, my last recording, uh, well, failed attempt, you know, I get the middle finger on this map, so hopefully my second attempt will go well. Yeah, take care of these mutants over here. And now I'm gonna turn back and take care. Whoa! I always forget that this guy will. Well, I don't forget. I turn around. I just keep. Usually the guy. I mean, this guard won't come out, but for some reason he did. There's some dinner and. Well, there was some ammo, so yeah. Now we're going to take care of this area right over here. And, uh, yeah, take care of these mutants. We're gonna go in here first, and then we're going to take down these enemies out here. And we're gonna take care of these enemies as well. We'll let the guards come for us. And, uh, yeah. Here's some help. And, um, over here's some ammo. So we're gonna grab it all right now. And, um, here's a chain gun. If you need it. I'll get, I'll get rid of this guy right here. And, um, I'll be very careful. Gotta be very careful because uh, the mutants and such will be alert to your presence. Whoa! Almost died. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I think a mutant is over here too, yeah. So, yeah, there's some ammo in this room if you need it. So, yeah, make sure that you don't get shot a bunch of times. Uh, I'm so used to playing the 360 version, I can just go in and just be like. All balls and such. The PC is different, you know, so yeah. Be very careful. And I need some patching up, so I'll go over here. Grab all this dinner. So yeah. Now we'll go over here. And we'll get rid of the mutants this way. I find it much safer to use the machine gun and do that than to jut out like this and use the chain gun. Because that gives the mutants a chance to kill you pretty much instantly. Here's some health and ammo if you need it. Um, so now we'll go over here, kill this mutant, and the two mutants over here. Be very careful. And here's some treasure. Um, so yeah. The mutants didn't kill me, believe it or not. Last time, so yeah. Now here's some mutants in here. Gotta be very careful. These guys can wipe your health away like that. I don't have time for this crap. Come on, mutants. I want to keep this door open because if they open the door and uh, fire a shot before I get a chance to, then that means they can uh, take most of my health, not all of it away, like that. Sometimes it's going to go forward again. Come on, you piece of shit! Come on! Come on, mutants! I know if I try to charge in, I'm gonna die, so, um, I gotta be careful. Come on! I'm gonna die, ain't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose all. Come on. There's one more mutant in this area. I gotta wait for him. I'm not going to be ballsy and just charging because I don't know which where. I don't know where the uh, mutant is. Come on. Come on, I'm over here. Come on. You know, we'll come back for you later then. Stubborn guy. Alright, I'm back. Come on. I know there are four mutants in this area. I've already killed three. I 
hate this mute. Like, this mutant's like, wait a second, wait for BJ to come in, and then it's gonna be like, pop a shot on him and die. There's four mutants in this area. Uh, this leads to a dead end, uh, we'll come back uh, to this door on the other side, you'll see how we do it. Uh, we'll go this way. And here's some health and ammo. Well, here's some uh, food. And there's gonna be some shoe stuff all around this oh, wood area. Oh, oh. Um, now let's go over here. I think there are two mutants in this area. No? Okay, we'll grab the ammo. Um, this video's gonna be pretty long. There's uh, seven guards in this area. Sometimes, like one or two of them will go open doors and such, so you gotta be careful. Three. Whoa! Five, uh, four, five. Yeah, that that block right there, it, it just circles around, so you don't, you don't have to worry about getting lost there. Um, six. Last time, one of them uh, opened up a door, and uh, you have to use a ghost through here, so yeah, be careful with that. Now, yeah, by the way, that takes you back into this area. See? Yeah. So now we'll go this way. We'll alert the shoe stoffel. There's five of them. I gotta be careful. Whoa. Three, four, and five. And here's a secret. Your only secret, by the way. And inside is a bunch of health. I mean, not a bunch of health. Ammunition and treasure. So yeah. Grab it all. So yeah, uh, last time was the first time that I ever died in this playthrough. I didn't think I was going to die to like episode three, but yeah, or that at least the uh, the maze in the uh, episode two mission eight. But it is what it is. So now take this area and there's a mutant. Shoot off on a guard. Go outside and grab all the treasure. Get some health and ammo if you need it. I'll save that med pack if I need it later. Actually, there's plenty of it in the uh, gold key area, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just take that last med pack. I won't even be coming back anyway. Now, here's what happened. Usually in the 360 version, I can charge into this room over here, kill the shoe stoffel, and um, be okay. But what happened was they start coming in over there. And while I was trying to kill the second one, well, kill the first one uh, successfully, the second one didn't want to have, didn't want to die, and the third one, it's right behind it, shot at me and killed me. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to kill the guard, and I'm going to let the shoe stuff will come for me. So I'm uh, there's nine of them, and that's pretty dangerous to stand out there too. There's a one, there's two, three. Come on, six more. Ooh, oh, God. They're gonna try to play true. Ooh, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Eight, nine. Okay, that should be everyone. And 69 health as well. 69 ammo as well. I needed to do that. <laughs> Here's some ammo in this room health and ammo in here and there's some ammo in here you know I'm gonna go ahead and take one more uh, med pack I'm not gonna come back anyway so yeah there's only like one area left to deal with that's you'll see it in a moment um did I already get this area yeah I did Yeah, this area, I mean, you can, it can just kill you instantly if you're not careful. Yeah, in fact, I, made my day was, I'm surprised it didn't take anywhere near as long, so yeah. Yeah, I grabbed the chain gun. I knew I did, just wanted to show that off. And, um, here we go. Holy crap! I almost got shot. 
But yeah, that's the end of this floor. Thank goodness, shit. This floor is difficult. It's probably the most difficult one in this in this episode. In fact, this episode could be by far the most difficult to complete because of the mutants themselves. I don't know if this or episode 6 is more difficult. I know this isn't the most difficult floor. I know there's some in episode 6 that's more difficult than this. But the mutants, that's <laughs> terrible. You see, I grabbed pretty much all the health and ammo on this map, right? Well, not the ammo, but the health. Because they don't give you too much health. And, um... That's the thing, the shoe stuff for and the mutants. Don't, don't forget that one area with the four mutants, the two on the left and right with the three crosses and three chances. Um, like that, that last one, I was just wait, wait for you to charge in. And I charged in, I thought I was going to die, I didn't know where the mutant was. And they can just, um, kill you. And, and that's never a good thing. And I didn't die because of the mutants last time. I died, like I said, go key room, I charged to the right. Open the door, kill the three shoes top, got in, and try to use the uh, corner part of the door as a safety. And uh, it didn't work, even though it worked for the 360. It didn't work for the PC. I don't know why it didn't work, but yeah. Um, and there's so little room as well. Like, uh, if they, if one of the managers to charge in, they don't die, and the another one comes in, you're pretty much guaranteed to die. I used a machine gun last time. I didn't use a chain gun. I probably should have used a chain gun, but um. It, you know, I probably wouldn't matter because if the shoe stuff gets by and another one comes in, considering how little room there is, you're dead anyway. So you got to play it this way. You know, I don't recommend trying to do it in my failed attempt. But I'm trying to do. I'm trying to edit the video to where I can show you the rage quit part because I was like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> but I'm glad to be done with this floor. I, I don't really like the um the layout, the the, the winding passages that with the um like 90 percent of this map is just the purple texture walls and it's a headache i don't get it and uh, that one post i said with the seven guards in it and you come around the other side of the door that we skipped earlier yeah i mean it, it may look confusing but if you um follow this video or bring my davis or anyone else's video and they describe that you should be all right but we'll move on to episode 2, floor 7 in the next video, which I believe is easier than this map. But so until next time, I'm D18. Peace out, everyone.